Hey guys, another right that here. Welcome back to another video in my Halloween outfit, as you can see. Um, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make team doors. So you can see, I am in a local server with two um, different teams. It's like this, and you can see that if you're on team circle, you can go through the circle door like that. But if you go to a different team, it's a door like blue team's door, and it doesn't matter what the team is called. But if you go try to go through a different team's door, you will just die because you're not on the team. And same thing uh, for blue team here, he can go through his own door, he can't go through the other door. So it's basically a team kill block, um, like the ones you see in Tycoons, I guess, where you buy laser door or something. So, really cool. Thank you for that random spot for suggesting this video. His comment will be up on the screen right now. Um, and yeah, go ahead and enjoy the video. See ya. Alright guys, we are in our base plate here as you can see. And we're gonna go ahead and start creating our teams. Now, if you already have teams created, that's totally fine. Just go ahead and skip to the timestamp on the screen um, where we'll actually be creating um, the team doors. But let's go ahead and start creating our teams for those of you who don't have any teams yet. So let's go to the tab on the top of the screen that says model. I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And then we can go ahead and click on a spawn and insert a spawn. And you can see a nice little spawn area has spawned in right in front of us. And um, we're going to do a few things to this spawn. So in the properties tab, you can go ahead and disable neutral, which means you cannot spawn on it. And you're going to set the team color to whatever you want uh, the team color of the spawn to be. So for this spawn, I'll just do, um, I'll do really red like that. And then if you want to, you can also change the color of it as well. Um, to also really red. Here we go. Um, now I can sit, tell that this is a red spawn. And we're gonna go ahead and duplicate this for duplicate this for our next team. And just like that, we're going to set the team color of it to really blue. Uh, right there. And I'm also gonna set the color of it also to really blue. So really blue, so you can tell what team it is. Um, so it looks like we're done, but we're not. You know why? Because if we were to play right now, you can see that I'm not spawning on any of these spawns and I don't even have a team. So that's a problem. We need um, teams and we need to be able to spawn on these. So all we're gonna do is in the teams tab right here, we're going to click the plus sign and we're going to add in a team. We can rename this team to whatever you want, so I'm just going to name this team Circle, Circle Team. Uh, in the Properties tab, uh, you can set the team color to the same color as the spawn here, the spawn team color. So if we set this team color to really red, they're going to set this to really red, um, because that, so that way you spawn on the spawn. You can go ahead and add in another team, and you can rename it to... Um, uh, I don't know what you want. You can name it Square, I guess. Remember, you can name these, um, these teams whatever you want to. They don't need to be of the names that I'm putting them as. And you're going to set this color to whatever your other spawn is. So, really blue in my case. Um, there you go. So, if I were to press play now, you can see that I spawned on the red spawn point and I am on red team. So now what we're going to go ahead and do is go ahead and make the doors. Alright guys, now that we have the spawn set up, um, let's go ahead and create the doors. So what we're going to do is we're going to insert a part. Um, you can, I'm just going to scale it up and uh, just make it like a wall. You can of course make a door if you want to, but uh, I'm, just make, I'm just going to, uh, I'm just making it simple right now. Uh, you can set the color of it to the team color that's allowed to go through if you want to. So red's going to be able to go through this door and blue is not. So I'm just going to set it to red. And you can set the transparency of it to maybe like 0.75 for me. Um, and um, and you're going to set can collide to false because it's a door and you need to go through it. 
So you can see we have a little red door here that only red team can go through. Let's go ahead and get to scripting. So if you click on the part and you click on the plus sign, you can go ahead and add in a script. You can go ahead and delete where it says print hello world. We don't need that. And now we can start scripting. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna write a um, function that detects when you get hit by a player, when the part gets hit by a player, and we're gonna check what team they're on. So what we can do for that is script.parent.touch, colon connect, function and you can name this function hit oops i have caps lock on it's bad hit there you go um and then down here what we can do now i can probably zoom in there it goes better down here what we can do is um if hit hit dot parent and then find uh find first child Humanoid. Then I spelled find wrong. Hold on a second. There you go. Find first child. So now what we're doing is we're basically uh, we basically created um, an if statement checking that if whatever touched the part is a player. So if a player touched the door, then we're going to continue with the script because we don't want something like let's say the base plate touched the door which it obviously will we don't want it to kill the base plate because that would just end up in an error and nothing will happen and it'll break your game so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna say uh we're gonna create a variable for the player so we're gonna do local player or plr equals to um game dot players and that uh, and then call and get player for the character then we're gonna get um the player that touched the door like that and now we're gonna check what team they're on so if player dot team dot name is not equal so for not equal we're gonna put this weird symbol i forgot what it's called um so we're gonna put this weird symbol and then equal, which would make it not equal, um, just like that. Um, and then you're gonna put the name of the team that this door is for. So this is um, circle team, that's red team. You can see circle team is the red team. So if the team name is not equal to circle, oops, I spelled the wrong, circle, then what we're gonna do is we're going to kill the player because they're on a different team. So what we can do is hit dot parent dot humanoid, oops, dot humanoid dot health will be equal to zero, just like that. All right, so now we have one door and we're gonna go ahead and create the blue door as well. So we can go ahead and duplicate um, the doors um move it over here i guess for the blue area you can set the color of it to really blue and that's the color of it right here and in the script we can go ahead and change all we need to do is we can change um circle right here to square so we're changing the team like that so only blue can go through this door and only red can go through this door it's and they cannot go through each other's door or they will die. Oh, and guys, uh, now that we're done scripting, we're gonna wanna go ahead and anchor um, these, um, these doors so they don't fall into the void when you start the game. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the test tab to test it. We're gonna create a local server with two players. Uh, one player for every team that you have, so you have eight teams, you're gonna do eight players. And so however many teams you have and how many players you're going to do to test it. So we have two players and we're going to go ahead and click the start button. Um, and then you can see that Roblox tab will start to pop up on my screen. Just like that. So you can see this is their current client here that I'm on. And then this are, these are the two players loading in. You can see I have player one, and then I have player two. 
so the local server is working. So red team, as you can see, they can walk through their own door. As you can see, they're perfectly fine, but as soon as they touch blue door, they instantly die because that is not their team color. See? Uh, so that the red door is working. Now let's just test the blue one. Um, so we got blue team. He can walk through his own door because he's on blue team, and then he check. I mean, touches uh, red's door and he instantly dies. Now that means that both the doors are indeed working. So uh, if you guys enjoyed, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Whenever you want to clean this up and leave the local servers, just go ahead and click clean up and you can see that all the um, servers will close and you're back in regular studio but if you guys um enjoyed be sure to leave a like and subscribe hit that notification bell so you never miss an upload uh thank you guys so much for watching thank you that random spot for suggesting the video and i'll see you guys in the next video bye